and we could do two executions, which, you know what? I think we could do just that. I think I'm ready for it. Turn this on. Let's see what we get for power on this, though. Uh, utilities. So, it's this one here. Uh, it doesn't have the capacity. We're gonna need another power station anyway. Unless it's this one. Can I move it? Maybe I can move it. If I put you up and dismantle you here, let me dismantle this. If I put this line up, right, then I can swap the power from this one, which will bring this down, and put it on this one, which will bring it up, but I think it'll bring it up. I don't think it'll bring it up too much. I think we'll have enough capacity for it. So let's see how this works. This will disconnect the power to this unit here. All this stuff goes away. And then we just build this power cable up to the chair area. Almost. Just one more. There. It's back on. Let's check out the power now. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that level. I think this has the capacity to do it. Can we test the chair? It's 2 o'clock now, though. It's, it's a little bit late. I think we need to wait. A, I think we need to wait till tomorrow night. I think it's a little bit late. Uh, we have enough capacity for more prisoners. And since we're not at risk anymore, I'm going to bring 10 more. Take a look at gangs. 7, 9, and 10. Doesn't appear to be any leaders on the field yet. Informants are showing me... Oh, that's a staff room. These metal detectors really ramped up our power. A prison is located in RNG Mountain. Yeah, there you go. Cause enough chaos for one stream. Mike, was that locked down you? Was that you? I didn't see who did it. I just heard it and saw the notification and just did what I was supposed to do. I didn't see who did it. <laughs> the lockdown and the riot? Maybe. Always got to keep things interesting. We've cleared our morgue. So we don't have to worry about anybody in the morgue. All the bodies are gone. One person requires medical attention. Not a big deal. We have all these programs we still want to pass. And they're all very close to passing. We just need them to actually do the programs. Two staff members are exhausted. Not a big deal. We're getting plenty arrested. 18 families waiting to visit. Do we not have visitation? Death row appeals are starting right now. He's, he's having another appeal. Oh, boy. Carpentry apprenticeship should be activated. Um... I don't think we have visitation, do we? Oh, yeah, right. Visitor service. Visitor service. That's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, we have two people learning carpentry today. Two. Good. Workshop safety introduction is have a full class. That's great. So what kinds of things can we do? Can you guys give me some ideas? For the gang war two, for the second gang war, what are some things we can do to make it more interesting? What is this random everybody kickoff fest? Why are you all kicking off at the same time? Like in unison? Everyone just like, hey, by the way, we're kicking off now. Normally that happens when there's a gang leader being punished, but this is not the case today. I want people staffed in here at all times. I know that means my staff is limited now, but I want it, I want it to happen. At all times, I need people in here. Not just eat times, not just yard times. Still have people kicking off, doing bad shit. Hopefully nobody's dying. That's the whole big thing, is that it just want them to die. Take their alcohol away, take their drugs away. Just don't die. One death. Killed by a rival gang member, so this is gang related. Why is this not being opened? Get in there and eat your food. 
Get in there and eat your food. Why are there no guards in here? Oh my god! What is my staff doing? I only have 111 guards now. Oh my god, so many of them died! So many guards died. I have to hire more. I, I, I lost so many. I had like 130 when the riot happened. I think. Either way, I need to, I need more. I, I just need to hire more. It just has to happen. Because they're not getting things done. How's this working? No gangs here. Okay. No gang leaders yet. Still had gang violence, but only one death. Okay. This common room looks depressing. This is a really sad looking common room. What can we do to spice it up? Add a couple of sofas here. Like a... Like a real lounging area sort of thing. I'm not putting radios in. Because that random event sucks. I'm not going to bother with it. This is all still a yard. It's all just dirt though. Lots of blood everywhere. Do we have people working in cleaning cupboards? Prison labor. Prison labor. Cleaning cupboard. There's people working in there. Laundry. Uh, we don't need that many in there, actually. Cleaning cupboard. Two. Max jobs in the shop. Two. Kitchen. Two. That's fine. This is the laundry. Yep. There. Good. This kitchen. Fine. Laundry. We don't need that many working in the laundry, do we? I don't think so. Now, even with that many guards, even with 125 guards, there's still nobody... Like, there's still a huge queue. I got nobody free. No free guards, despite that. It's nuts. You see dead people. Open the armory for prisoners? Yeah, like, I want, like, ideas on what we could do for... Like, chat commands. Like, you guys have commands in this series. What can we do? I already have some ideas, but if you guys say something I don't already think, I already think of, it could improve things. So, what I'm wondering is, is it possible, or what kind of commands can you guys come up with that we could do that would help you influence the gang war? Like, ways that you could help your gang using your points, using your pieces, right? The gang that you're you're rooting for, there has to be a way for you to somehow influence it, or maybe you can pay, you know, 200 pieces, and now your gang gets blank, or your gang has blank, or, you know, etc. Like, maybe you can... Maybe you pay pieces, and now your gang gets an extra two hours of free time. You know, things like that. That's one idea I have, is like, I have the regime set, right? Because each gang will be in its own security level, and so you're judging the, re the regime. And I can determine that. So maybe you pay 200 pieces, and now target gang. You, you decide which gang it is, so you'll do a variable like um, lockdown blue or something. And then for 12 hours, the gang that you chose, they are locked in their cells, or they have, you know, their lockup period for 12 hours, and then I change the regime back. Things like that, you can influence the prison that way, influence the other gangs, and influence the result that way, which is kind of nice. Convert all gangs to the best gang. Green gang, of course. Convert everyone to green. We are gonna do executions tonight. And we're gonna do one tonight and one tomorrow night. I'm gonna get it done. They're 4% and 5% respectively, so. We'll just do the 4% first, then we'll do the 5%. If we get, we're gonna get another one actually right now. Another death row inmate coming in uh, tomorrow. So we'll just kind of go like this, because I don't want any more prisoners. So we're gonna get one more death row inmate on this next intake. Oh, we got another tunnel. Got sn maybe sniffed it out. Is it, is it there? Nope. False alarm, okay. Proceed. Continue on with what you were doing. Still got some extra food on the table. Maybe. Looks like we're not really feeding everybody. 
Our kitchen is the kitchen staff lacking? I don't have people working there anymore, so it probably could. I kind of don't want prisoners working there. After what happened, but let's get four in there to help. We can get four in there to help. Not overloaded at solitary anymore, thankfully. Like a bowl of cereal? What is that? What do you think that is? A noodle cup? Bowl of cereal? Hmm? Some mac and cheese? Mac and cheese is so underrated. Like it's it's as a as a as a food to eat in any any time of day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Mac and cheese is very underrated. I really think it should be a part of everyone's meal. It's like the best part of waking up. Come to find out, it's not Folgers. Uh, it's mac and cheese. I don't care who tells you. They're, if they tell you any differently, they're wrong. I miscalculated this. It's not going to fit a cell. We can at least add an extra... We can add one more cell, though. It's fine. Everyone that works dies. I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think there's still plenty of people to work in these places, you know? I will say, though, that having the extra free time... Oh, look at this. We had 80% on uh, foundation education now. Only two more people needed. I think that extra free time is actually helping. It's letting them take care of their needs a bit more. And so they're able to concentrate more in classes. I think they're doing better because of that free time. Comfort, environment, warmth, privacy. Uh, spirituality is fairly well managed-ish. It's like half managed. This stuff right here, I don't understand the exercise, family, recreation, because I'm giving you three hours of free time at the end of the night. So you should not have a problem with that. I really think you shouldn't. All right, uh, let's find our wonderful death row inmate. His name is Valdez. I'm sorry, Mr. Valdez, but it is time. It is time. We're starting. We're starting it. Initiate the prison-wide lockdown, please. Well, I think I have to wait till they're back in their cells first, because they're actually... Prisoners are still working in the cell. We're going to test the facility, though. Let's run the test. Make sure they, uh, make sure we can handle it. Power station's looking solid. Mm-hmm. It can handle it. Good. All right. We'll initiate the lockdown. But I want to make sure everyone else is in their cells first. Looks like we are pretty much in. Yep. Looks like it. Okay. Authorize the lockdown. 97% complete. Got to wait for a couple prisoners that are still out of their cells. There we go. Assemble the execution detail. Escort witness. Let's get the witnesses on their way. Because it takes them a bit to get there. And let's get the execution detail on the way as well. Mr. Periwinkle and the chief making their way. Can the execution room be forbidden? Technically it can, but I don't believe the staff will I don't believe the staff will actually do it. Because I will I'll be marking it access only and stuff. They need to use this facility for the task that's currently underway. So I think they'll ignore it. But if you were so, if you were so inclined to try and stop the execution that way, uh, you could. You technically could. Issue a punishment to a gang leader. Ooh. Ooh. Issue a punishment to a gang leader. Nice command idea. I didn't think of that. It's like targeted specifically to a gang leader. Huh. Not bad. Bad. Escorting witnesses to facility. There we go. It's very dark in here. It's not a whole lot of light. All right. Let's escort the prisoner. Apparently the warden doesn't have a key for that door. That's weird. Valdez's priest. Looks more like a rabbi than a priest, but all right. Yeah, the warden doesn't have a jail door, a jail key. He has a staff key, not a jail key. That's silly. 
The chief... The chief also does not have a jail door key. Makes no sense. Okay. Here we go. Mr. Valdez. The warden is going to personally pull the lever. Right at two o'clock. Staff and witnesses are dismissed. Final report. The mandated execution of G. Valdez was carried out at basically two o'clock as scheduled by electric chair in the presence of witnesses. The standard compensation of $10,000 is awarded for the, to the institution for their part in this process. Mm-hmm. He is now escorted out of the facility. Yeah, that happened. That happened. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Prison-wide lockdown back into effect. Let's test it one more time. <laughs> but wait, there's more! Two in one night! Yeah, baby. Sorry. It's a very dark subject. Assembling execution detail, getting the witnesses in. Here we go. This guy's not even in the morgue yet. We're already lining up the next guy. He's like, but wait, you said tomorrow night. Might as well just get it over with all in one night, you know? If I can do it before the prisoners have to wake up, you know? Although, hey, here's an idea. Here's an interesting thing. They're not actually sleeping. Does this mean that the... Does this mean that this wakes them up? Are they gonna have less... Are they not gonna have enough sleep? That's gonna suck. Henderson is... Placed at the chair. It's the chief's turn. The chief wanted to pull the lever this time, so... We'll do it at 5 o'clock. Oh, the warden's calling! A random event in the middle of an execution. Yes? Yes, warden? Yes? Well, is he innocent or not? No? Are you sure? Thank you. Fry him. Five o'clock. Henderson. Uh, Henderson is dead. Henderson is down. Everyone gets out of the room. Final report. Mandated execution of Blake Henderson was carried out at five o'clock as scheduled by electric chair in the presence of witnesses. A standard compensation of $10,000 is awarded to the institution for their part in the process. All right, electric chair's off. Okay, well, two up, two down. Two death row inmates. Two parole lawyers, which don't belong here at all because there is no more death row inmates to have parole but fine yes 80% I'm kind of hoping somebody I'm kind of hoping two people pass education today because buy one get one educate <laughs> executions what shouldn't you get a bigger bonus for two in one day nah just get the same same rate for everybody I mean if I could actually do two in one day all the time, then I would get double the money every day, right? Technically. That's how it would work. Technicalities. That's how it would work. Alright, this is really annoying. Let's put a... 
put a remote on that. Oh, could I not? I can't manually open this door because that it, it cancels the build. Whatever. All right, next death row inmate is actually coming in today. This intake will have another will have another inmate. Oh, this thing here needs hot water. Hot water, hot water coming through. Get that. Uh, wasn't I doing something over here to yeah, this. This is installed now. So let's hook it up to the door servos. There. There. And there. There you go. There you go. Like, I have some voice effects on this mixer, as you heard, but I want to get one of those actual, like, voice changer things. Voice changers are fun. But it's 200 bucks. I didn't think it was worth it for $200 to just have yet another thing on my desk. Did you guys see my setup? Has anybody seen my actual setup? I thought I posted pictures of it before, but I, I planned on it, but I didn't. Sorry, right. I'm making a, I'm making a streaming slash YouTube media creation masterclass. I've been working on like scripting that for a bit. I'm gonna put that on, uh, put that up on YouTube. Shares all the things I have and the little tidbit settings and secrets and things that I have for creating high quality productions and stuff, whether it's a let's play or, or else. But it takes a long time to do it right because I gotta set it up and script it and. Put videos in the right order, etc. I'll probably just have them in a playlist on YouTube so I can just perpetually add new things to it as time goes on. Um, but yeah, my setup will probably be part of that. But I got a laptop here, has its own system, its own things that I moderate monitor, 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 mixer, stream deck, two keyboards, two mice, the remote for my lights. Oops, this one. Oh, my light's off. What, what to do? It's all nice. Nice, sweet little setup. I like it. Ah! You have a portrait of Tesla? There she is. I do have a portrait of Tesla, actually. There you go, Karen dear. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Oh, you knocked my guard unconscious. Hey now. Hey now. Get him. There are two of you and one of him. He is not even strong. You can get him. My cameras are out. Oh, another death. Why? Ugh, overdosed. I can't do anything about overdoses, you know? He overdosed coming right into the prison. Like, this is his... He just got here. He overdosed just getting here? He overdosed? That's not even fair. I had no time to reform him. Likelihood of clemency, 34%. The Green Knight. While out playing out on a LARP event, he took things too far and actually started to believe he was a knight. Seeing so many evildoers around him, he started to hack into people shouting, Take your hits! <laughs> it was quickly captured. Taser's love medal. Sentenced to 138 years. <laughs> wow. Can I DM you and give you a free soundboard and voice changer? They work really well. I have a... I have... I already know exactly which ones I want. It's unlikely you have the one I'm looking for. It needs to have a compact form factor as well as the, the ability to make the changes and presets on the fly very quickly for me, like on my desk space. So I'm looking for a VT3. It's like 200 bucks. But it's not necessary, you know? It's not necessary yet. There's a few things I want to do with the stream. I've been working on them forever, but I just I haven't quite gotten to the point where... I haven't really gotten to the point where I have enough time to commit to make it do it right. I don't want to do shit half-assed. I, I want to do it right if I'm going to do it at all. But... I haven't had the time to really put into it to make it work, but... There's a few ideas I have that will benefit greatly from having that voice changer. Heard the name of the prison and realized that he would, wouldn't be living long anyways. What was the name of the prison? <laughs> Did he, the fabled 40 death day. He's going, oh no, not this place. Not this place. I'm, whatever this is, I'm, 
What is it, bleach? Is that what this says? I'm, I'm drinking it. Just get me out of here. <laughs> I'll go out on a gurney. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Take me out in a bag. <laughs>